So if you haven't seen our video on cashmere stitch, pop over and check that out now because this is the same stitch but we're going to squash it together and um, condense it and make a different pattern with it. So the normal cashmere stitch makes either horizontal or vertical rows even though the stitches are diagonal. Check that out in that video. But this one we're going to make these diagonal rows here with it so this one doesn't go across horizontally or vertically it now goes diagonally so if you like the cashmere stitch but you need um, it to to have a diagonal direction for the piece of work you're working on condense it and it'll squash it and you'll get the same stitch but in a diagonal pattern so I'm going to start over here to show you how to start the stitch so we're going to make little oblongs with this little rectangle shapes so we're going to go diagonally across first, just across one intersection of the, the thread, with the thread of the canvas. So a little half cross first, dead easy to start with. Now one hole to the right of that in a horizontal row. And then we're going to stay with a diagonal stitch, but this time we're going to do three holes. So we're going to count diagonally across one, two, three stitches. Now this is where you just have to think about this stitch. So now because we're making this rectangle we're going to come down and make a little rectangle like this. I'm going to come down one hole from that corner stitch. I'll do this again so don't worry if you're not sure what I'm doing. So three holes diagonally. One, two, three. Down one more hole again. I'm going to put the corner stitch in. This is two holes, so it goes two holes, three holes, three holes, two holes. We make this little block of stitches. So that's one cashmere stitch. We're going to now put another one with it, but we're going to condense it and squash them together. So this little corner stitch here, normally if you were doing normal cashmere, this will be the, um, you'd do another one of these to start the next stitch. We're going to share this stitch now. So this is the first stitch of the next cashmere block. So we're going to pretend, so there's the first one, so we put the second one in, which is a long one. One, two, three. Down one hole. One, two, three. And then the little corner one to finish it off, which is two holes. They're all diagonal, straight across the diagonal. That doesn't change. So there's the second one. And now you can see how they squash together. They're sharing this middle stitch here and we've squashed it. And this is what's making it this diagonal pattern. So that's the beginning of the next stitch. That's the first stitch of the next block. So we're going to come across one hole there. We put our three hole stitch in. One, two, three. Down a hole. One, two, three. I think if you look at the shape that it makes, that's the easiest way to remember this. It makes this little rectangle shape. So there's the third one. So this last stitch is also the first stitch of the next one. So we've done our little two. So then we put our three holes in. So over to the right. You can see it sort of steps down. It goes down, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. You all see patterns in different ways. So you kind of have to try the stitch and work out the way that you can see it clearly. You might see the step better, or you might be able to count it, or you might see the blocks. There's lots of different ways of seeing these stitches. And after a while you won't need to count the three holes, you'll see the pattern forming. So I'll just whiz to the bottom and then show you how to put the next row in because that can be the tricky bit with this stitch. Let's go down one more to finish that one off there. So you can see here I've changed colour for each row so each one of these colours is a different row and we have to lock the stitches together so they share the hole where they change colour. So this can be a little bit tricky. So I'll change to this green colour so you can see what I'm doing. Now the easiest way to work this out is to look for the little, the top sort of long one. That 
actually let's start, start with the short ones easiest so you've got these little ones that over two holes these little stitches over two holes so into that goes a three hole stitch but no point in here are the two holes next to another two hole stitch so I think that's your best reference so find one of the little short stitches there and then do the long three hole stitch into it because at no point does a two hole stitch meet another two hole stitch and if you want to you can come down and put those in there's your long ones That gives you your long, and then you know in between that you've got two long and a short. So the other thing that happens with this stitch is you don't get two long ones that go out horizontally. So if I came up there and did three holes, that wouldn't give me my rectangle of stitches. So I know that the next one down is two holes. So I should put that one in. So there's the middle. So I know this one is three holes because it's making that little step, won't make the step otherwise. Therefore, that's the top of my two holes. And once you've got that first block in of your next row, the rest just follows it. It's just working that out. So I'll just go over it again because it's a bit complicated. So find your two hole stitch, which is there on the pink. And at no point does a two hole stitch meet another two hole stitch. So this must be three. And then you know that your next three is above it one, two, three, because otherwise you would be coming out horizontally and that won't give you a rectangle and therefore that must be the little two stitch. There's my two and there's my three. So it's a little bit complicated that putting these together but once you've got the first one in the rest should follow. So don't worry about starting at the top. If you try and start at the top that will confuse the count. So find the little two hole stitch first start and then you can work up and down from that. So that is condensed cashmere stitch.